Let's understand what a knock sensor is and its function. The knock sensor is a crucial component of the engine management system. It detects vibrations caused by engine knock or detonation and sends a signal to the engine control module. Knock sensors are only one of several engine management sensors used by the ECU to optimize the engine's performance. The ECU also relies on other EMS sensor inputs. If you want to know all the sensors of the engine management system, you can check our detailed video on car EMS sensors. Check the link in the corner. Now that we know what the knock sensor does, let's dive into the symptoms of a bad knock sensor. Symptom number one, check engine light comes on. While a check engine light can indicate various problems, a malfunctioning knock sensor is a frequent trigger. This happens because the engine control unit detects issues related to the knock sensor and triggers relevant fault codes. Later in this video, we will discuss OBD2 codes related to a faulty knock sensor. Symptom number two, poor engine performance. A faulty knock sensor can lead to incorrect knock detection, resulting in improper injection and ignition timing. This can manifest as rough idle, hesitation, reduced power, sluggish acceleration. Symptom number three, engine noise. Without a properly functioning knock sensor, you might hear pinging or knocking noises from the engine, especially during acceleration or under load. These symptoms are common with issues in various engine management system components. To ensure that the root cause is the knock sensor, it is necessary to read OBD2 codes and check for specific codes related to a faulty knock sensor. The codes that are associated with the bad knock sensor, P0325, P0326, P0327, P0328, P0329. You can find our playlist on meaning and how to diagnose trouble codes step by step. The link in the corner. Now that we understand the symptoms of a faulty knock sensor, let's delve into the causes of a faulty knock sensor. First, mechanical damage. Physical damage to the sensor or its components can impair its ability to function correctly. This can result from impacts, vibrations, or improper handling during maintenance. Second, contamination buildup. Over time, dirt, oil, or other contaminants can accumulate on the sensor, hindering its ability to detect vibrations accurately. Third, internal short circuits. Electrical issues within the sensor itself, such as short circuits, can prevent it from sending correct signals to the engine control module. Lastly, electrical issues. Poor connections across electrical connectors, broken wiring, blown fuses, loss of ground, or issues with previously repaired wires can disrupt the connection with the IAT sensor. When a car exhibits the symptoms mentioned above, and the knock sensor has been checked and found to be in working order but the issue persists, inspecting other components that influence injection and ignition timing is essential. First, a faulty oxygen sensor. The oxygen sensor measures the oxygen content of exhaust gas, providing crucial data for calculating the injection and ignition timing. If the sensor malfunctions, it can cause incorrect readings, leading to knocking or pinging. Second, a faulty IAT sensor. The intake air temperature sensor measures the air temperature entering the engine, providing data to calculate air density for the injection and ignition timing. If the sensor malfunctions, it can cause incorrect readings, leading to similar symptoms as a bad knock sensor. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with fellow automotive enthusiasts, and subscribe to our channel for more in-depth automotive diagnostics and repair guides. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified of our upcoming videos.